What is going on guys? Bingo here and I am with the Dual Factory for yet another episode of X2 Drop, our Yu-Gi-Oh! podcast we do every week, just about, give or take uh, about six months, um, talking about something in the Yu-Gi-Oh! game. Uh, so this week was relatively exciting depending on who you are, I guess, because there, uh, there was a ban list a few weeks ago, right? Like I, I'm so detached yeah. from uh, competitive Yu-Gi-Oh! But not much of a shakeup, minus uh, some quality of life changes. So we're, we'll probably save that discussion for another day. But uh, in spirit of the holidays, we wanted to have fun, make fun of each other, uh, and talk about decks that we have played in the past that we really enjoyed, uh, even though we know they suck. Um, and Joe has a plethora of decks that we all just roast him constantly for playing. Now, I have my guilty pleasures as well, and we'll get into those. But, Joe, uh, I believe this was your topic idea. Maybe it was uh, like we were just sh- shooting out ideas uh, a couple weeks ago, and I saved it. But It was definitely a joint effort. What are <laughs> what, When you think of bad decks that you like to play, what's the first one you think of? Heroes, immediately. I don't know what it is. I don't know what fixation I have with it. But for some reason, I love playing the deck no matter how bad it is. Like, recently, I've sat there and I've just wanted to sit there and just, you know, fishbowl playing with hero cards. And every time I think to myself, when I get to the Crusader, I just get rocked every single time. So, and is, like, oh, I was going to say, <laughs> is it, uh, is it because you liked that season of the anime or because you're not like the, the biggest diehard superhero fan that I've ever met. Obviously you're a fan of like Marvel and DC and all, all of that, but like we don't talk about it very often. No, not I, I, it's kind of weird, right? Because even in GX, Jaden wasn't like my favorite character. Astro Phoenix was, and he plays the destiny hero cards and I'm not going to lie. The destiny hero cards have really been pissing me off in that strategy lately, but I don't know what it is ever since uh, I got back into the game in 2012. And I remember watching like bubble beat heroes and stuff like that. I always had this weird fascination with the hero deck because I like what it does. It's simplistic, um, very easy to learn. And then foiled out hero cards are probably some of my favorite in the world because I just look gorgeous. And the problem is like every time I play the deck, um, it's always just one card away from being good. Like during <laughs> <Yeah>. toad format, <laughs> It, let's see during a uh, abc format and all that fun stuff it was one card away from being like really really good that's probably the best heroes been in a long time when they can end on like dark law toad yeah uh, that's pretty annoying i think during bubble beat they were like one like consistency card away from being like incredibly good so on and so forth and it's just like i like playing it but it's just it's just never gonna be there yeah but i hey, Gotta have a guilty pleasure. I would say, yeah, Dark Law Toad, because I mean that was before uh, uh, we had like Ash Blossom, and uh, I think we just had Reaper, Ogre, Valor, you know, like the standard stuff. But yeah, the old school hand traps. Yeah, that that was a pain to play through, because uh, I mean the power ceiling was significantly lower <laughs> four years ago. I remember the best board you could make, like if you had it. Depending, you could end on Double Toad, Dark Law, and then any trap card, any of the big ones. So, so I had Emptiness, Strike was still really popular, and uh, Dimensional Berry was the best trap card in the game. Any one of those, and like it was just an auto win game one, but like the problem is the deck just can't go. But now it's a going second deck. It's kind of weird. Yeah, and, and it's like it, it just falls into one of those combo decks that like is super explosive but like falls apart under some pressure right oh yeah for sure and uh for anyone who loves burning money it's the deck for you 100 percent. all right so my Those cards are so the so the first bad deck that i'm gonna say i i always like try to mess around with and try to reinvent the wheel with because it, it it's a deck that needs four wheels and only has one uh Satellar knights uh it doesn't mix well with anything but i try to mix it with everything uh and i just have so a lot when did you first discover your love for men well it was like november 2016 right like i'm coming into the game uh, i don't really know anything and triver's a 
super fucking awesome card. It looks gorgeous. It, what, but, but why? Why? Why the fixation with you know? Or as of? Uh, because your deck's hilarious. Because my buddy Fred likes to call them boys in space. I don't. I don't know. I. I think strictly, my love for the deck comes from Triver. Like that, that bouncing the entire field is just such a cool effect, and uh, it summons from grave right when it's uh, sent from field to grave. Uh, Triver, Triver, I think actually. Oh wait, no, it's Delteros that summons. Yeah, Delteros is You're right. Deck. Deck. Um, and like. Obviously, it can't because of the hard ones per turn effects, the normal summon reliance, like normal uh, that, summon. like you activate Altair, you can't use other effects, or, or uh, no, it's Triver, you can't use non S Knight effects. It's just like you can't mix anything with it because they're so limited. But bro, bro, like bouncing everything to include, like you know, back in the day, Call of the Haunted and Fiendish Chains and bouncing any spell just to set it again like that was uh that was awesome right but Bruh. it sucks ass and i know that all right so i want you to sit here and i want you to relish in some things about your deck right so <laughs> we have the revised master rule four in the year 2020 um also because of the recent ban list and how the meta is shaping up we have the best time to start playing trap decks and one of your favorite decks still sucks. Well, yeah, it's because it does one thing. <laughs> it is the simplest fucking deck. It's like, okay, turn one, I better open either Vega Deneb or Deneb and turn two, like, I Altair. Like, like, why does Bot Lemias have to discard a fucking card? Bro. Like, the deck sucks <laughs> so bad. Your deck has everything it needs to shine, and it just sucks. Yeah. <laughs> and then, like, rem remember that video, like, M. Cole 40 posted, like, six or... It, it might have been at the end of 2019, where an S Knight deck's, like, top aided a regional because it got the perfect <laughs> matchups every time, and it just summoned Bot Lemias against fucking B.A., <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> oh my god and like people like ghosts uh, i think it was like ghost trivers were like 25 bucks or like i don't it was something ridiculous you know in the Yu-Gi-Oh community but all right it was so that was my my first first guilty pleasure what uh what's your next deck joe actually so i have another guilty pleasure that uh a lot of people actually don't know about, especially because I don't talk about it as often as I do. But uh, so when the speed right archetype came out, right? Oh yeah, <laughs> I forgot about this. One. <laughs> I remember this, but uh, I remember when it came out, and it was during uh when we had like fake pay pay format, where like we had some of the pay pay cards, but we didn't have all of them. But people were playing this really generic like deck that just like you know was just dugging on people, and uh. I built it and I built my side. It was like a 12 card side deck specifically dedicated to all pendulum matchups and just three like back row removal cards. And uh, I saw stuff my locals with it. So then, hey, I think we're going to take this to another locals. And I did it. And then I saw stuff. And it was beautiful. But I'm like, bro, the deck's is cool. Like, you got a Beyblade, you got some yo yo's, yeah. the, a, a dice. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't give a fuck about speedroids, but like, Terror Top is one of the coolest cards ever. Like it just, everything about it is free, you know? And then like Terra top, Taka Tomborg, and then you can, uh, tribute Taka Tomborg for try it. Summon triad dice, right? From the deck. Is that how it works? I'm just, I'm so it's been upset. a while. Yeah. I'm, I'm so upset. But like, like literally the, like, like what does it, the deck even do? Look, it like, summons really cool dragons made of crystals and clear wings, all right? That's all I wanted to do. It's simple. It's can't, fun. Can't just summon, like, Chambara. Uh, yeah, I can summon the tugboat and murder you. Yo, can it My even, favorite part. Can that deck even make uh, the fucking <laughs> wind rank four? I forget what it's fucking called. Lightning Chidori. <laughs> yes, yes, it can. The that problem card. is, is all your good cards, including like Wind Witches, keep from doing that because the deck sucks. Uh, Wind Witch, like, 
Uh, I I get why wind witches had to be restricted, but like they make playing with others so difficult. It's no fun. It's no fun. So my next deck is a locals deck, and I absolutely love playing against people that don't know what my cards do. Uh, Don't say it. So real quick, shout out to Minecart. He's in the, the Twitch chat. I don't have literally anything set up on Twitch. I'm just recording this podcast. Um, so it, if you want the Discord, it's somewhere on my YouTube channel. But anyways, it's a local deck that only works when your opponent doesn't know what it is. So you probably already guessed it's Cyframes. God damn it. Nothing is more fun than playing against somebody that doesn't know how to play against Cyframes. Like, the trap card is insane. You can negate everything. It's great. Bro. You're the type of person to sit down across the table with someone and be they tell you that they have a time constraint and you need to hurry up. And you just literally stare at them and reveal a sideframe card and be like, interact with me. And then cue the heavy breathing. You go, <laughs> activate Delta. <laughs> you are the worst kind of fucking person, I swear to God. Right. It's almost as bad as when you got drunk and you forced me to do that fucking deck building video. And we started playing Clockwiver and as a dedicated normal suck someone fucking Lambda turn one. Oh, I'm uh, sick. Man. <laughs> But uh, you can't bitch about Cyframes when you... How many decks have you played Gamma in? And you're like, dude, I Gammaed his card, he gamma my card, and then I had a second Gamma in hand, and I fucking Gammaed his Gamma. Like, shut the fuck up. <laughs> Why are you taking this so personally? <laughs> oh, man. But, yeah, obviously... It, the deck sucks. Anybody like anybody that has half a brain that knows how to play against it, you're just gonna get rocked, right? You have a whole deck that you can't oh, summon. Every time. Yeah, you, you fucking set a monster and you flip it and you attack and they attack. Oh, it's my fa- <laughs> it's my favorite move against Cyframe players every time. Set a monster pass. Play with me now. Go ahead, Delta me. I want you to do it. But or is it Alpha? I can't remember. <laughs> um yeah, I mean there's nothing more to it. It's just I love playing against people that don't don't know how to play against it. So Joe, what's your next one? I, that's so awful. So uh if any of you follow my YouTube channel, everyone knows I have this huge fixation with TG cards. And uh TG stun is probably one of my favorite strategies ever. And i honestly I don't know why, because like one, it's not a combo deck. And I always play combo decks, but for some reason the fucking TG cards, like Rush Rhino or my personal favorite nickname for it, Gay Pride Rhino. Something about that thing, just, you know, going to 2K and running shit over, it's just super satisfying. And then backed by, like, cards like Skin, where, like, no one can play the game, but you still can because you can search your cards. And then, like, Striker's a cool card, Warwolf's a good card, but, like, and then we got the wave of new TG cards. And I tried really, really hard to make that deck good, and yeah. it's just not possible. Like, Trident Launcher seemed really cool, but it just required too much. Like, you made it, and you're like, this is... Like you, you have to invest so much into it, and you're like, "What am I really getting out of this?" <laughs> you're just getting a really cool link monster, and yeah, that's it. It looks pretty. <laughs> it, like there's like no like actual real interactions that I can do. It's like I can make these cool cards, and I hope they stick. Key phrase: hope they stick. That is the TG strategy. But like I don't know. And then there's all the memes you guys made out of me whenever uh, we were still over at Yeti. And apparently Scotty was my nemesis. That was funny. Or still is my nemesis, I guess. I don't know. Well, he's better than you, so. We have yet to prove that. All right, so we're, at the, ha- we're at the halfway mark, so we have to throw in the obligatory, I like to play fucking Dark Magician, and Joe likes to play Blue Eyes. So I mean, it's Dark Blue Magician Eyes is, superior. Is, God damn it. is amazing, right? It it sucks, Crash. but it's so oh, much Crash. fun to play. Uh, granted, I honestly haven't played si- that deck since before we got Souls, and the deck is totally different. But Dark Magician is a way cooler card than fucking Blue Eyes, so that's why I play that. 
Blue Eyes and White Dragon is by far not only cooler, but a far superior card than and some fuckboy in a purple no, hat. Because, one, you think <laughs> the best artwork for Blue Eyes is the LOB artwork, which is I have a mythical true. creature of legend with white scales and blue eyes. It blows well, your magician I, out of the water. I have the ultimate wizard in terms of attack and defense. So, God. <sighs> I have a legendary engine of destruction. Not only do you play a less cool deck, you like the artwork that is probably the second worst artwork for like Monster. The best artwork, which is the original one from I'm Legend of Blue Eyes. You know, not say the starter. Deck. My favorite one is the one with the stupid to- stone tablet in the background. Because that's the kind of person. Uh, well, you are. We, 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 can, we can all agree that is not the correct artwork. That is Two, the worst artwork. <laughs> Two, at least my deck was a meta relevant tier one deck for all of fifteen days. All oh, right, I don't want to hear it. And everybody that played it will say it was the worst best deck they've ever played because it just fucking at least sucks. I can make. What What are you gonna do? You're gonna summon a fuck boy and hope your back row gets passed? I'm gonna make uh, real big monsters, anytime. and I'm just gonna put my big dick energy on the goddamn table, and you're gonna go home crying to mommy, not realizing that I'm already tapping it with my big blue eyes wide hey, dick. How How does your deck out skill drain? I summon a 3k vanilla that beats over your 2500 vanilla because your vanilla is a bitch. So I have skill drain. I, no, there's no or. Turn. I, I just have... run your card over. Okay, so last <laughs> I checked when we played, I had skill drain, which your deck is supposed to be good with, Eternal Soul and I reveal Magic Circle. Danger Bigfoot and you strike me. <laughs> All I know <laughs> is you couldn't out a simple card. I had a 50-50 shot for you to take the card out of my hand, and you fucking striked it and left a vanilla in my hand. Hey, and at, le- at least I have Magician Souls, which is a busted fucking card. That yeah, how's that, uh, how's that going for you? Because, you know, we've played it literally in everything but Dark Magician. That's anybody that plays Dark Magician plays that card. So, oh, Also, shout out to Aaron. Work. He can eat my ass over his 10 E cards. Yeah, ten ye. All right. Uh, speaking of ten ye, that was going to be one of my next ones. I don't play it oh, nearly God, as much it. as Aaron, but the deck is pretty fun. Uh, I like to play the bad version of it with the unsearchable still, field spell that lets you draw two cards. I, I still don't know what the deck does. I yeah. just know like Aaron puts ten ye cards on the field and we just blow them up. Uh, what what is the fucking link three? The link three is dope. Uh, was it like Dragon Master or some shit like that? Something. Oh, ten Draco Master of the Ten Year, something yeah. like that. That card's dope. The artwork on all of them's cool, except for the. Uh, I don't like Berserker. I think it's pretty dumb. But Berserker, I, I like but... that deck strictly because it looks cool, and I don't. I don't need you to come at so me. Let, let me get this straight. There's not like an actual strategy or anything about the deck you actually like. It's just the artwork. The strategy I like in the deck is the Link Three Monster, Vershuda, and the Field Spell. Fuck your <laughs> <laughs> Like you, you have a decent Field Spell that you can't search, that does nothing on activation, is strictly reactionary, and you have a Omni Negate that you can't get to unless you hard draw it. And the draw engine so, okay. is the field spell that's reactionary. Oh, like, the deck is... sick. This is just all sounding bad. The deck um, is sick. bad. But oh my god, it's fun to play. Kind of. Uh, all right. Damn, I mean. So, Joe, tell me your next deck and why you like playing with uh, what's that stupid bad water link deck that you played for like ever? Marine says. And why you're obsessed with Marine little, says? little people. Well, I do like Marine says because like the decks is like it just keeps playing every single turn. You just always have something to do. Um I've actually I haven't played that deck in a while though, because like all the cards have been giving us is just really, really suck. But one deck that I do like to fishbowl around with, other than uh Marine says and Little Mermaids, um, the Crystal Beast deck. Oh, that yeah. deck is hilarious. <laughs> It's so good. Tell me why it's good. It's so bad. Okay, look, bro, look. So, 
even though they gave us probably one of the best legacy support cards ever in Crystal Bond, is sitting there. What does my dumbass do? The first chance I get to play Yu-Gi-Oh! After I told someone that if I play this deck and they see me playing, they need to make me swallow my teeth. Shout out to Ray. <laughs> I play the worst possible version of it and play Infinite Negate Combo. Where yes. fucking yes. Beacon Bond equals Infinite Negate. <laughs> and you fall apart to and one like, hand it, it was great. Yeah, I literally fall apart to one hand trap. And I thought the deck was hilarious. I take it to locals. I play against the one person who's also playing trash that night, which is Aaron, who's playing Weather Painter Eldritch. And I don't even lose to the Eldritch cards. I lose to the fucking Weather Painter cards. So that's a meme. And then on top of that, then I play what I assumed was the buy, because he always plays Dark Magician, and his name's not John, but then randomly plays Mech Knight Invoked, and puts 10k damage down my throat, because I bricked. Well, you're playing a deck made of bricks, so that makes sense. Well, that too. Literally, the only reason I like playing it, and that the only reason, is because the cards are beautiful foiled out. And you know, I just like do. I just like impersonating uh, uh, Johan Anderson or Jesse Anderson, whatever you want to call him. But uh, yeah, yeah, that's, Crystal Beast for the win. That story reminds me of yo. Know, remember that yeah. mesh of bullshit I put together like after we got a bunch of new cards, and I was playing like Zoo with Summon Sort to summon the uh, level three tuner to go into like Noodle I don't combo. know what the fuck you were doing. <laughs> There was like six different engines. Oh, it like, was great. The engine boards were sweet. The problem was, is I just have no idea how the <laughs> fuck you were getting to. Them. <laughs> yeah, that that was like a disaster of a deck. Like I know you I got know. the chalk and nine, but I don't know how you got anywhere else from there. <laughs> like that's the problem. I mean, I I don't even. It, it was mostly so I could learn shit. But man, I was playing so many engines of that deck. All right, so. I I have to say it, one of my favorite decks to mess around with prior to all of the cards being legal for play was Bad Necros, right? Before Incantations, before uh, we got any cards off the ban list, trying to make the deck work with zero Shrit, one Unicorn, and one Brio was like a life mission of mine. I'm mad that you said bad net cross because I'm sitting here like, bro, this is 1,000% one of the most prolific strategies ever. And I'm like, oh, you're talking about the bad, the dark yeah, ages. Like af- the cards after it was like- completely dead <laughs> and before it's like, obviously, it's playable now. Like, it, it's a fun casual. It wasn't even like, dead in the water. Like, you still had some of the dopest cards. You still had Brilliant Fusion. You still, had, well, yeah, I mean, you just had Brilliant Fusion. But I mean, like, yeah, you had stuff you could do. Quite yeah. Work. And then, like, we we had instant fusion for Norden. We had Bahamut Shark. Uh, like y- you could actually mess around and do cool stuff with it. It was just never like the uh, a consistent. Like you had too many breaks. The deck was fucking bad because you had one searcher. Like, but it was fun. Yeah. I, I I really you enjoyed. Around it. And found out. That's what I, happened. All right, you so what's your, and you found it. what's your next one, Joe? My next uh, bad deck that I like playing? Yeah. Hmm. That's a good question. I'm like, there's so many of them. Uh-oh. Oh. I'm going to have a Robbie Cole moment. Uh, you say gadgets. It is gadgets. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> okay, I don't know what it is. All right, look. It's funny because I actually just dislike watching Robbie Cole's channel at all. But something about just summoning a gadget and getting a raw plus one is probably one of my most favorite things in the world. And it's one of those memories I have of Yu-Gi-Oh! that like at simpler times where you can just play a slower so, paced game. So <laughs> you give me shit about Satellar Knights, which is Deneb plus one, and the deck actually does something. Yeah, but I, I could at least play cards like Fortress and let me run over your cards. You're literally a one-trick pony. Hey, there's at least two tricks. I could pop a card or bounce the field. And if you have no, a monster over than trick. if you have a monster bigger than twenty five hundred, that's immune to monster effects. Yeah, I might I might lose the game. 
You literally go from yellow camouflage to pink camouflage. Your deck's still worse than mine. At least mine is modernized. There is no way Gadgets is better than Satellar Knights. Oh, it absolutely is. We got the new infinite. We got the infinite track cards. Like, bro, come on. My deck is way better. And we just got a way to search Fortress with, you know, deployment. Dog you, my ass. you were talking about normal summon gadget, get other gadget. You weren't talking about no infinite track bullshit. You weren't talking about anything. Well, bro, we're in modern Yu Gi Oh! I have to be able to stick two monsters on the board now. We got to stick with the goddamn times. Says you. <laughs> Oh, spe- speaking of mean? speaking of stupid ass machine decks, one that I think I like to play, but every time I go to play it, I'm like, I'm, what the fuck am I doing? ABC, right? ABC is one of the fun, like I have the most fun thinking about playing it and like what's good, and then I go down, sit down to play it, and I'm like, this is fucking awful. You know why you like it? Because it's modern day gadgets. Yeah. But, and then, so no, c- you know what comes so to mind? Every time I sit down to play it, I'm like, I don't want to be like Calvin Tallon. And then I just fucking <laughs> stop. <laughs> that brings me to my next favorite bad deck that I like to play is Magnet Warriors. Ah, oh, I was so excited when uh, that deck came out. See, I, I'm with you on that one. I I mean, you play it way more than you do. Look. It's so cool. Everyone was super excited for the ABC structure deck to come out. Whenever the they did the revamp decks, I was so excited for the fucking Magna Warrior decks. I was doing so much cool shit. So we were playing. I remember was it me and Ray were working on a list. We were playing. We were playing Brilliant Fusion, Summon Zirconia. We were playing Mythic Water Dragon, and then my personal favorite tech because we still had Block Dragon R.I.P. But uh, we also played fucking Gaia Plate, the Force of the Earth, and stuff like that. Like we were just playing all sorts of cool cards. We we're in on like rank eights and rank threes, and then we realized that just like everything my deck was doing, ABC just did better. Yeah, and then Konami and had to nerf Magnet Orders by bl- banning Black Dragon. Rest in peace. We're not going to talk about that. My, my, my man died for Adam Emancipator's sins. Oh, it's been so long since I looked at my act physical cards. I can't even think of other decks right now. Um, How do you not? Well, we could talk about the deck that's always been bad, and that's Striker. We could, uh, or or uh, uh, uh. I I I know our number one deck, <laughs> pu- fucking invoked. God damn it! Right? <laughs> How many times have we sat like down a bad habit. and said, "Yo, this could be this could be good." <laughs> You know what the sad part is? We look at it, and I guarantee, I'm almost positive we put the same 15 hand traps in it every single time. Every single goddamn time. The yeah. only thing that changes is the number of purple cards we put in. That's it. Yeah, but we we put the same ones in there after two hours of talking about which ones should be in there. We put the same ones in there expecting a different result, and I think that's the problem. <laughs> no, it's like, you know, do we play two indigo or one? <laughs> not, no, 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 You're getting off the topic. That's Mac Knight invoked. We're talking about pure yeah, hand, pure hand trap, trap invoked. invoked. And you know what one of the hand not- traps is that you play? Fucking Gamma. All right, guys. God. We're we're out of time. <laughs> um, Joe, you got any final thoughts? Uh, yeah, man. Bad Yu-Gi-Oh is the best Yu-Gi-Oh. Uh, Aaron can definitely vouch for this. And, you know, Douglas French has no sauce. Yeah, so if, if you're not going X2 and leaving the tournament with whatever deck you're playing, it's better than when the, the shit we were talking about today. But if you have a topic oh, yeah, idea yeah. that you want to have us talk about, shoot us a message on YouTube, join the join the Discord, whatever it is. I don't have any links to anything so uh, except on the YouTube channel. So if you really want to know, go there. But guys, this has been X2 Drop. We'll see you back here next week. Peace out. We'll see you in six months. Okay, bye. Exactly.